Hello guys, let's do math for fun with this question right here. x to the power x to the power x plus 1 is equal to 3. And we have to figure out what the value of x is. But before we start, you know the deal already. Pause the video and give it a try first. And if you are done, let's begin. In fact, we have to start right from the top here and then come down just like that. So it means that I have to maintain this x right here. So let's go ahead and then maintain that x. Then to the power of this x, I'm also going to copy that down and to the power of this x right here. So that means we have x in red. Then plus 1 is also the same as the power right here times x. Just like this. Then on the right hand side, we just have 3 right there. Cool. Now check this out. If we have a to the power n or to the power m, this is the same as a to the power m times n. Now, if we compare the left-hand side of this equation to this right here, we can clearly see that this m right here is x to the power x. Then this m right here is our x. And in fact, we can rewrite this in this form right here. So we're going to have x to the power n, which is this x here. So let me copy it down. Then all to the power m, which is also this one. So we're going to have x to the power x, then the right hand side is 3. Cool. Now let's go ahead and then drop this power down by introducing ln on each side. So I will just put ln here and then ln here, just like that. Cool. And now we can move this power to the front right here so that the new equation will be x to the power x ln of x to the power x, and this is equal to ln of 3. Easy. But what else can we do again? It seems we are almost stuck. No, we are not stuck. Check this. I'm going to rewrite this one first. So we will have ln of x to the power x. Then I will see this x to the power x as e to the power ln x to the power x. And this is equal to ln of Away. And now the door is open, isn't it? We can clearly move this power to the front here. Likewise, we can also move this power to the front here because we have ln. So we're going to have x ln of x times e to the power x ln of x. Then the right hand side, we still have ln of 3. Now let's check this out. If we have any input of the form t e to the power t. Now, as soon as we take Lambert W function on this right here, we are also going to get our t back. The idea is very simple. If we have anything at all, it can be anything, times e to the power that same thing. If we take Lambert W function on this right here, we still be getting our emoji back. Now, if we check on the left-hand side of this equation that we have, we can clearly see that we have x ln of x e to the power x ln of x. So it means that straight away we can go ahead and then introduce Lambert W function on each side of the equation. Just like that. And if this happens on the left hand side, in fact, we are going to have a very simple thing. On the left hand side, we are going to have this right here, that is x ln of x, then this will be equal to w, which is the Lambert W function, times ln of 3. Just like that. And we can proceed right from here. It seems there's a problem again because we have x ln of x. Just like we did here earlier. I'm going to rewrite this first. So we will have ln of x and then see this x right here as e to the power ln of x because this e won't do this ln and we'll get our x back so we have done nothing to it isn't it cool then on the right hand side we have w of ln of 3 now let's consider the left hand side of this equation again this is of this form right here can you see that ln of x e to the power ln of x if this happens we can still take lambert w function on each side once again, so that we're going to have the left-hand side to be ln of 
x which is equal to w of w of ln of 3 just like this and this time around we can easily find the value of x because as soon as we introduce e on each side of the equation this e will do this and you have x right here then the right hand side we're gonna have e to the power w of w of ln of 3 just like that can we break this down or we should leave it this way in fact we can simplify this further we can rewrite this as x is equal to w of ln of 3 all divided by w of w of ln of 3 and we are done but remember you cannot point this on the normal calculator that we are using you have to point this on wolfram alpha and if you do that ladies and gentlemen the value of x is approximately one point let me check the answer one point four nine five four six and if you go ahead and then replace x right here with this value one point four nine five four six let me see yes the exact value we are going to get approximately three so guys that is pretty much it don't just go give me a thumbs up it's very important to grow the channel with that and subscribe to my channel if you're new take good care of yourself as well and see you again on the next video have a nice day bye bye